Bose have finally made a noise canceling headphone that is just as stylish as they are useful. It's Joshua Vergara, what's going on everybody? Let's block out the world a little bit with these Bose 700s. It's not that I ever thought Bose was uncool, it's just that their QC35, their QuietComfort 35 headphones, they always seem to be more utilitarian than fashionable. And with all of the different headphones that were coming out around the same time, especially the ones from Sony, it felt like Bose was kind of just coasting along, being the de facto uh, noise cancellation headphone until other competitors started to really encroach on that space. One of the main places where I feel like the Bose QCs were really lacking were in their style. But now, take a look at these, the Bose 700s. This is a very elegant design, and it's certainly more minimalist than some other uh, noise-canceling headphones that are out there. Unfortunately, the adjustments for these rods uh, can be a little bit finicky. I actually have to take the headphones off of my head, do some adjustments here, and then hope that when I pull down the headband as I put them on, they have just the appropriate length to reach my ears. They're still fairly light, even if they're not as light as the original QC35s, uh, but I don't get any fatigue on my head, especially on the top here, where normally with other headphones, I would feel a bit of a pinch here, uh, but with these, perfectly fine. Looking around the actual headphones, uh, you have the ear cups that are made of this very comfortable leather, uh, and they feel really nice even after long periods of listening. But on the outer portions, you have, of course, the Bose logo and a few different grills for the good onboard mics. Those microphones can also be very useful for the Google Assistant integration, which is something that you set up when you get this thing paired to your phone. It's 2.26 p.m. However, if you were to hold on that button, you can actually talk to Google Assistant in a walkie-talkie fashion. Above that programmable assistant button is the Bluetooth button or the power button also, where you can press it to turn on the headphones, get that noise canceling started, uh, and get it connected to a phone or hold on the button so you can trigger the pairing mode. And then finally, over on the left side, you have that one button there to control the noise cancellation levels, anywhere from levels of zero to 10. All right, so here is one thing about the design that I'm not the biggest fan of. Here, I'll show you right now. When I'm not listening to anything and I take the headphones off, the ear cups come out. Now, this in and of itself is not that big of a deal. Uh, at times when I'm here in my office and I want to have some uh, content playing in the background, maybe a podcast or some music, having these as tiny little loudspeakers pointed up at me actually is kind of cool. It just seems kind of interesting to me that a very stylish headphone like this that Bose should be more proud of showing off isn't being shown off because those designs are hidden close to your chest. And then the ergonomics actually take a hit here because when you try to put the headphones back on, it's like trying to figure out how to rotate the ear cups. And as I'm rotating the ear cups and most of the time when I bring them back up, I'm pressing one of those buttons that I was just talking about. But as long as you don't have those problems, uh, you are able to control the music or the media on your phone using a touchpad over on the side. Now, this touchpad is also another reason why the ergonomics are not my favorite on these headphones, because that one rod that goes all the way through the actual headphone uh, in order to do headband adjustment, uh, it makes it so that the area where you do the swiping or the double tapping to pause or anything like that, there's just less surface area there because you're not using the entire side, you're just using half of it. Uh, and because of that, I feel like I have to be more mindful about my swipes and presses, and it's just a little bit more finicky than I would like. Rounding off the different features, you do get a USB-C charging port now, uh, which allows it to have fast charging so that you can get some of your playback uh, back in a short amount of time. And then the headphone jack over on the side is of a 2.5 millimeter construction. Uh, that is because in the carrying case, which allows the headphones to lay flat inside, uh, there is a cable that connects to all 3.5 millimeter jacks. It's just that the port that goes into the headphones is 2.5 millimeters. Speaking of this case, it's a good case, and uh, I have to admit that while these headphones don't fold down, which means they are not as space-saving as, let's say, the Sony WH headphones, uh, this is still not too bad. Since they lay flat, these are pretty easy to just stack behind a notebook in my backpack, uh, and I haven't had any troubles actually fitting this in any of my carry-ons or any of my travel gear. And finally, talking about the application itself, the Bose application does give you some control, uh, graphically, of the noise cancellation levels uh, and a couple of other options, including which assistant in the phone you wish to use, including Google Assistant and Alexa. What is actually missing from here is any type of equalizer, which means that the sound profile you get from the Bose 700s is pretty much what you get, unless you download like a third-party EQ or something like that. 
With that being said, the sound coming out of the Bose is not that bad, especially if you're the kind of person uh, that wants a flatter EQ, doesn't want to have too many pronounced highs, uh, you're not really much of a bass head, and obviously the mid-tones are pretty flat, as I find with a lot of Bluetooth headphones. Even though there could be a little bit more character in the sound profile coming out of these Bose 700s, I don't find it an unenjoyable experience. But what really makes the difference here is noise cancellation. Bose has always been really great about noise canceling, and honestly, it's one of those things where a little goes a long way. But with the Bose 700s, you get one of the longest running great noise cancellation pedigrees in the market today. Noise cancellation is not actually supposed to block out everything that's around you. Uh, actually, what you're supposed to do is play something to cut what's left when you turn the noise cancellation on. And when you turn on the headphones, there's always this nice welcoming string quartet that tells you they're turning on, or it's a downward note if uh, you're turning them off. What I notice about the noise cancellation in the Bose 700s is that it doesn't have that suction feeling when it turns on. Uh, with the Sony WH headphones, when you turn on the noise cancellation, it's almost as if everything is closing in around your ear. But with these, it's a more natural feel. And then again, any sound that actually gets through the headphones, you just cut with any of the media that you might be listening to. Ooh, one of these days I'm going to do a video detailing some of the uses of noise cancellation that are unique uh, and that are aside from media consumption. Uh, I think that noise cancellation has a real good use, especially for mindfulness and also for just getting a little bit of peace and quiet in this really loud and crazy world that we live in. So of course, inevitably, there are comparisons between these and the Sony WH Mark III's. And in all honesty, I think that both provide very great features. Uh, they both are actually in line when it comes to the different things that they give users to play with. The only thing is that the Sony headphones actually provide you an EQ and the ability to change up the soundstage. The Sony headphones are also a little bit lighter and they also fold down, making them a little bit easier to travel with. But as far as comfort is concerned, I don't really find either of these pulling ahead of the other. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, I think that the Bose 700s actually look better than the equivalent coming from the Sony camp. Uh, and that's no small feat because Bose used to not look this good, especially when it comes to headphones. Even if the ergonomics are not ideal, because after all you have that design being hidden <laughs> because of the way that the ear cups actually rotate, uh, that's okay because overall these are just really easy to use, very light noise cancelling headphones that you can rely upon, especially when you just need some of that peace and quiet. Is that style worth $50 more in the Bose 700 compared to the Sony's? Probably not. Uh, but if you are a big Bose fan, this is probably the headphone that you've been waiting for after the QC35 started to be uh, left behind a little bit in the world of Bluetooth noise canceling headphones. And so there you have it, my thoughts on the Bose 700. I've been using these for quite a while now and I'm super happy with them, mainly because noise canceling is honestly one of those very useful things that everyone should try out at some point. If you want to check out the Bose 700s for yourself, you can head to my affiliate links down in the description below. And if you do use those links, you're actually helping me out a little bit. So thank you so much if you do so. Uh, the 700s are not meant to replace the quiet comforts. Uh, so we'll see where the quiet comforts go from here. But for now, the 700s show that Bose still have some of that design prowess in their repertoire. If you're new to my channel, welcome and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Drop some likes on these videos as well and get into the comment sections and let me know what you think about these particular headphones and what noise cancelling headphones you might actually be using. Maybe you have the Sony Mark III's and you think those are better than this. I want to know why. But with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, I'll just remind you to enjoy your tea everybody.